Hello and welcome to another Kerfuffle panel webinar. Today I'm joined by our guest Bernadette Sheridan, uh, Head of Business Development at Payprop UK. Bernadette, how are you doing? Very well. All the better for seeing you this morning, David. It's and Sophie. Nice and David. <laughs> Um, and we also have with us another David. We've got David Votter. He is the owner of Votter Sales and Lettings. David, how are you doing? Very well, David. Good cool. to see another David on the call. You can never have too many. You can never have you too can't. many of them. Um, we have Andrew Jack with us um, from Belvoir in Edinburgh. How are you doing, Andrew? I'm good, David. Yep, good to see you. And last but not least, Sophie Lang. Uh, Sophie joins us from Lewis, Horton and Willis. You're the director of Lettings there um, in Cornwall. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolute pleasure. Good to have you all. Um, today we're here to discuss a subject that is sometimes um, a subject that people approach with a little bit of trepidation within the lettings industry because um, we as agents sit somewhere between wanting to welcome uh, autom automation into our lives and also being extremely uh, hands-on and wanting to make sure that things don't go wrong. And sometimes we feel when we give it all up to the computer or to the machine, um, we lose that element of control. Uh, and that, that element of personal contact as well. So it's a massive leap of faith, um, particularly when it's anything to do around the handling of money and, and payments, all the more so. Uh, in our everyday lives, we're very careful, but when you are entrusted with client money, um, you cannot afford for the reputation of the business to take a, a wrong turn with that. Um, and I guess, Bernadette, that's something that you... Uh, it, it's it's an element of resistance you must come across um, every day when talking to agents. Yes, and it's a massive responsibility, and we have a phenomenal dev team and and senior management team within the UK that actually ensure that everything is dealt with efficiently, accurately, and compliantly. So, um, Andrew, um, perhaps I could ask you uh, in terms of this automation, you, you must have shopped around um, and used. Um, or considered uh, other suppliers as well. What made you trust Payprop automatic? You know, at the end of the day, to automate something as vital to your business as those rental payments. Um, well, I think Payprop is obviously a, a well-recognised name. It's a big, big organisation. Um, it's very well run, and, and um, as Bernadette said, they have a you know an excellent product, an excellent dev team that, that's pieced the product together. So. Um, the reputation goes before it. So it wasn't a major leap of faith. I suppose once you've made the decision that you want to go down this route of, of um, automation, there probably are only a handful of options. And that, it, to my mind, Payprop was probably the only, the only answer to that. Fantastic. Um, Sophie, uh, how long have you been using Payprop for? And um, what if, if you perhaps could highlight for us, what's the sort of difference between in your business and your sort of everyday process um, before and after? What does it look like today and what did it look like before? Yeah, absolutely. We've been um, with Payprop since early 2018. <clears throat> um, I think um, I've been running the business for about nine years. Um, we had, uh, we've got a big student portfolio down here. So I had 600 payments coming in on the first of every month and then our residential throughout the month. And basically I was sat in a dark room um, for several days of the month, not talking to anybody, reconciling payments, I mean, paying landlords, which is, you know, great as part of the job, but that isn't why I'm in lettings. And I'm a people person and I like to go out and speak to people. And I wasn't doing that anymore. And I wasn't really enjoying my job as much anymore. And looking at our processes in the office, although it's a big responsibility rent, it is a process that is, is, is perfect for automation. Um, because it, you're not making money by sitting there doing payments. I understand you get your commission, but that's not what you're being paid for. You're, you're being paid for tenancy management. So to actually go out there and get more business, I was working in the business rather than on the business. And my time was more precious than sat staring at a computer screen, manually reconciling payments. So Payprop came around at a really um, opportune time for me when I was really struggling with that. So like I said, once, like Andrew said, once you make that decision of doing that, then, you know, Payprop was the, the only option for us. They were great. The team are just so supportive. 
um, and we made that leap. Um, um, everyone, everyone's scared about change, um, but uh, but once you make that decision, you you kind of go into it full that's guns that's blazing. Importantly, they've, they've got you out of that darkened room. I Absolutely, think. yeah. I mean, plan? my clients know my face again. It's <laughs> great. I can actually go and see them and talk to well, them. And, well, that was going to be my next question, um, David. You know, you you've also embraced this this process. I know you're a strong advocate. Um, for the lettings industry. I don't think I'm being unkind when I say that our lettings and management has always been seen as the less glamorous um, sibling of the sales side of, of our businesses where you get to go out and show fantastic properties and maybe you're dealing with the cut and thrust of major negotiation, whereas lettings can seem a little bit admin heavy, um, not quite as sexy as, as sales, let's face it. Um, but it doesn't need to be that way if you can free your time up to do some of the the, the more interesting exactly. side of your business. So t tell us how you've done that. Well, it's in, it's, you've hit the nail on the head, really, David, because from the sales perspective, it does look a lot sexier. You do the job, you do the viewing, you hand it over to Progresso and it's, you get all the nice bits. With lettings, when you're managing a portfolio, you're managing people that have got very different personalities. So you might got the phone to one landlord that's lovely and then the next one's an absolute nightmare and all these demands and as we know covid's brought out the worst in people and everyone i speak to across the country have also agreed that covid have brought the muppets out of the woodwork and it seems to be that there's a lot of people that have more time on their hands to find problems with bits and pieces but for me it's just it's, it was an absolute no-brainer and the thing is Managing properties is very difficult, you know, it's very heavily regulated, so much legislation. And I mean, I, had a, I met a landlord just yesterday and he said, yeah, yeah, show me the property, done a great job of the property. And um, he said, I'd like to manage it myself. And I was like, why? Why would you want to do that? And then we ran for a few bits like, you know, are you registered with the ICO? And, you know, are you up to speed with all your regulations and bits and pieces like that? And I just threw a few bits at him that he didn't spot, just doing a visual check of the property. By the end of it, he's coming on a managed service and he's taking rent and legal cover because I've uncovered that need. And the thing is, with a lot of salespeople, I don't mean this disrespectfully, but there's that little tunnel vision of let's get the list in, let's get the job, regardless of it. But we've all got to focus on that managed service because we're the experts. You know, we go to, yeah, I don't know how many webinars and seminars and regional meetings and conferences I go to. And, you know, when lockdown first hit, I think I signed up for every property mark webinar I was going. So my brain's got to be worth a fortune at some point. So for me, absolute no brainer. I saw it back in 2016 when I was a regional uh, representative or executive for Isla Property Mark for Kent. And I think it was Martin Bunty and one of the other guys came along and they presented in front of the, my region. And I thought this was amazing. So I went back to my employer then. I said, you've got to get pay prop because I was filling this bucket full of clients I was hitting my targets my listing targets and getting all these awards but I had this leaky bucket in property management where the property management weren't looking after the portfolio and they weren't updating landlords and rents so I have a landlord ring me in the lettings branch say David you know you sold me this service yet where's my rent no one's talking to me no one's answering the phone at the centralized call center and I'm thinking that's wrong and the companies I work for, so it's too expensive, David. I said it's not expensive, not as expensive as losing five to ten landlords. So true. So well. true. So true. So, because, because if you if you are going to sort of leak landlords at any point, it's yeah. always going to be. No one will ever say, "Oh, I'm sorry, but I did not like the way you handled that repair." That yeah. might happen every now and again, but it's yeah. really around payments. They want to know that. The payments are reconciled properly that the money hits the account when you say it's going to hit the account they have a clear statement um really important for accounting yeah. and they want to know that that money that they're entrusting you with is effectively safe and it's not going anywhere else and that's the only thing that that keeps landlords up at night is is absolutely lost yeah um so andrew other than sort of the obvious features of reconciling um payments um what is it about pay prop that you that you like um listen there's there's, there's so much of it that's, that's that's good stuff i think um i i hate uh, the mundane and the kind of process and the repetitive tasks so anything that kind of is going to take that out of my hands uh, i'm all in favor of um and i assume 
um, that everybody else doesn't like that either. So when it comes to my team, I think that you know they should be doing more exciting stuff than than, than, than doing the kind of mundane. So um, I like the fact that it, it you know it, it it does that automation. It makes it really simple. It's really intuitive. Um, and it just gives us that time and, and um, the ability to go off and focus on some of the other stuff that uh, Sophie and, and, and David have touched on there. Um, so listen, there's, there's, there's loads of stuff that's, that's in there that's, that's good. Um, the statements, um, the... Uh, oh, goodness, my mind's gone blank now. I'm so excited about the whole pay props thing. I've gone off. I've gone off. I've gone well, off. It's, it's, it's certainly, I think, Bernadette, you'd, you'd agree. I mean, you've, you've sat quietly there watching this, but that three very great advocates for your, um, for your product. Um, the agents that you deal with, once they switch over, I, I think they become so such fervent fans because you're giving them the gift of time effectively. Um, is that the feedback that you're getting on the whole from the people that you're you're dealing with? Yeah, 100 percent. In fact, the first time that I actually met Andrew Jack and he is uh, he may be prone to a bit of excitement here because um, the first time I ever met him, he was going around this whole conference saying, go and see pay prop, go and see pay prop. You need pay prop to virtually everybody at this event. Um, and what, what does happen is, is we do tend to have sort of raving fans um, because once once you've used it, you you wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't lose it because actually what it comparatively I was working as a lettings well I was working as a lettings director um, when I first saw it and I saw it back in I think it was about 2016 and I was like oh my goodness where has this been all my life <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing the one thing that gives so much grief to a lettings agent is not getting those rents right you only have to get one or two wrong and that's it. You know, your reputation is ruined with that with that landlord. You know, you know, you can't you can't undo it. That's the point. And the money is the most important thing that they have at any moment in time. And paper even does so much more than just that. All of the communications become automated. Um, the remittances, the text messages, everything, everything that the agents ask for, we we work on and, and it goes if they ask for additional things, we work on it and it goes into a development list and uh, and is worked on. So it's a constantly request. evolving solution. 100 percent. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a visual person, David. I like to see pictures. I like to see things. So the dashboard on the, on, when you log in at the start is a great feature. Because it keeps you right, it shows you exactly what you need to be looking at, all the things you need to be keeping an eye on, the, the, the money that needs to be reconciled, the payments that need to be approved, the arrears, um, and the little graph on the right hand side that tracks your commission, um, which tells you what your progress is, um, which you know is good for people like me that, that, that can only work in pictures, you know, can't focus. <laughs> Can process lots of lots of data. Just need pictures. So um, that 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 you know that element of it is is really useful as well and really beneficial. That's fantastic. So you know, with agents, there's always a resistance to bringing in um, new solutions. They we famously love talking about bits of prop tech that might revolutionize revolutionize our lives. But when we introduce them to our staff members, everybody goes, "Oh, I don't, I don't want to use that." Or, or we we've always done it one way let's just carry on doing it even if it is takes us 10 times longer and there may be some sort of hesitation when you bring in automation with staff um particularly that they feel that maybe this process might replace them i rather than them see it that it makes their life easier um they might actually feel a bit threatened and say well look pay props gonna actually take over my my job, but Sophie, that hasn't necessarily been the case for, for you. You feel that you can actually get more done. Yeah, absolutely. Me and my branch manager um, used to share the role, obviously holidays, etc. cetera. Um, I mean, the good thing about PayProp is, I mean, she was a bit averse to change at first when we spoke. Um, I think that uh, the biggest thing for us was, you know, opening a new rent account you know, you're changing all where your rents are going, but the team was so great at handling that and communicating that to our current tenants and, and moving that across that it was, it was seamless. We had no issues. Um, but yeah, it's meant that now she's able to go out. I mean, she's great on the front end going to see new developments um, and going out to, you know, to business generate, which she wasn't able to do before. We couldn't leave the office for big periods of time because we were so stuck having to do this reconciliation. Um, so it's actually found she's found that um, there's other parts of the job she loves. 
um, that she kind of lost love for previously just because she didn't have the time to do them. So it reignited um, about business generation, which was something we, we'd lost a bit because of just time, no time. And I dare say that's probably where the, the income is. You know, if you're able to go out and generate business, that's that's pound productive behaviour rather than sat there sort of, you know. I mean, two things, main things. things for us is that um, over those, we've seen two things that have made us more money, less arrears, um, because of the automation, the chasing, um, invoicing tenants three days or however many days you choose before to remind them their rent's due has made a massive difference to tenants not missing rents. Um, our arrears are at all time low. Um, and then also business generation, we're able to go out and get more business and spend more time with our clients, which means we can increase our fees because we're showing that, you know, we're doing more um, with time. So it, it's kind of, it's brought in more income from other areas, not just automating the process. Well, every reason to get excited about it. And it's a, a absolutely superb um, tool. And I know that it's revolutionized a lot of um, property management businesses by taking the sting out of what traditionally has always been those those paid points and if you ever sort of go into as I have into um, property management departments and you ask them which bit of their their job they don't love um, it's always going to come up around sort of the admin around payments and having to deal with landlords uh, you know if you've missed something and you've not reported on time um, and David said if you know previously that if the rent came in on the first they were accounting by the fourth. I've got to tell you, David, that's positively fast for some businesses. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I know of some property management businesses where it will sit there and it'll wait and it'll wait. Um, whereas with Payprop, you don't have to worry about that. It's constantly watching watching your back and making sure that people have the, have the payments as and when it comes in. Um, and it sounds like it helps you to keep on top of the arrears. I'm sold, Bernadette. What can I tell you? Okay. All right. Well, we'll have a conversation after this then. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I'd like to thank all of our panelists again for giving your time and also uh, your opinions on pay prop. I know none of you have been paid to be here today, um, but it's great to see some passionate fans out there. And thank you, Bernadette, once again. Thank you. And thank you, Sophie, David and Andrew for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. Welcome.